Imagine having a cool lemonade. Lying on a flamingo shaped float. In the middle of a pool of crystal clear water. Looks good, right? Well, subscribe and give us a like right now. Because the image is about to change a lot. Now imagine that the float is an old tire. The pool is a swamp. And the lemonade is an amputated arm. Welcome to the creepy pool. Okay, so the swamp thing was a joke. But the rest of the story is not funny. As with every year. The pool in my neighborhood opened the first weekend of June, and is always full of people. All of us children were eager to serve the linen and water gun battle, and play the one that doesn't fall with an inflatable ball. But something had changed. As soon as the lifeguard opened the door, I ran in and I cannonballed myself into the water. I was smiling with happiness, and it made me get water in my mouth. It was salty. I surfaced coughing and asked why it tasted like this. The lifeguard told me that they changed the chlorine treatment, went for one of salt. Which in theory was better for health. I had no idea how wrong it was. In the middle of my stupor something hit my face hard. It was my mother's flip flop. It started yelling at me to not jump into the water without taking a shower first. A while later, I was playing with a couple of friends in the area that covered us. We were tossing around the ball while the lifeguard measured the water levels across the pool. One of my friends hit the ball, trying to hit me in the face, but I was quick and I dived to avoid it. While I was underwater, I heard a very low sound. Like there was a well in the pool. Clearly there was no well, but it wouldn't make any sense. But the lifeguard was gone, and there was a reddish cloud approaching me underwater. My friend started pointing at me and shouting that I had done it to myself in fright, and honestly I wish it had been like that. What was that cloud? Everyone looked at me laughing, and it was only the first day of the pool. Where is the lifeguard when you need him the most? Well, the fact is that nobody saw him again. The next day a new lifeguard came, and was on the phone all the time, so we were able to do some assaults without anyone stopping us. Before leaving the water, we all threw ourselves in a cannonball to let the girls who were sunbathing. It was the ultimate cannonball, and we came out of the water laughing out loud. All except the little ram, who did not appear anywhere. Suddenly the red cloud reappeared in the water. And this time it could not have been me. We didn't have time to get to know the first day lifeguard, so nobody asked about him. But the disappearance of a child made all the neighbors look for him. He was never seen again. Ramon's family asked for a minute of silence for his soul. All right, let's continue with the story. The next day I went to the pool ten minutes before the lifeguard arrived, and I started diving with snuckle and fins. And then I heard the low sound of the first day again. It came from the bottom of the pool, where the grid is that connects the pool with the treatment plant. I dove there, and as I got closer, I could see that the gross screws had been forcibly removed. In the middle of my amazement, a scaly hand pushed open the grill, and grabbed my arm. I tried to swim with all my strength, and it made me see the creature better. It had a fish face and a human body, but with green scales and fins. He started pulling me hard, trying to get me through the hole. I screamed in pain, losing what little oxygen I had left in my lungs. I was about to die, and no one could hear me down there. I had to improvise quickly, so I ripped off the snorkel and stuffed the monster in one eye. It started making the noise that I had heard before, and hearing it so close was more unpleasant. But then I heard another noise. It was the lifeguard jumping into the water, the intention of rescuing me, and she achieved it. The bad thing is that she had no snorkel to, to nail the monster in the eye. And well, you know problems we all have. The chickens that enter the ones that leave. Rest in peace. The new lifeguard lasted just over a day. There is a monster in the pool, and now go to the kitchen sink when I'm hot. I could warn people about the monster. But honestly, I think there are too many people in my neighborhood. A small purge wouldn't be so bad. And up to here to draw my life at the killer pool. Put in the comments what you've done to get rid of a monster like this. Until the next video.